guys, Mike here again. Welcome back to Hope is Alive channel. It's been a few weeks, what, with uh, um, a month of doing Mind Your Marriage, and then we've had a conference after that, and various other things taking place. Plus, for me, personally, it's the busiest time of year work-wise, so um, forgive me for being a bit slack over recent days. But I have been working on some material, and I want to share some of that with you today. In Genesis chapter 6, it talks about Noah how Noah um, stood alone for Christ. Uh, well, he didn't stand alone for Christ. He stood alone for God. But there's an expression uh, that we use about standing alone uh, for Christ. And I want to give you some tips today because what happened in Noah's time was this, that people continued to sow um, to the flesh and they reaped corruption with the earth being destroyed. So here's some tips for you to stand alone for Christ when everyone else around you seems to be going to the pack. And the first one is Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. So the first one is to renew our mind with the truths of God's word and to begin to see life from God's viewpoint. So, of course, you've got to be in the word to be able to do that. The second one is realize that rejection and harassment and being disagreed with bring more of God's grace, which gives us the desires to do God's will. And that's in James 4, 6, where it says, but he gives more grace. That is why the scripture says God opposes the proud, but shows favor, his grace to the humble. Third one, two scriptures, Proverbs 3, 6, in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. And also Psalm 119, verse 105, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light for my path. And so that one is another R and it's just remember biblical concepts and apply them to your life daily. Is respect the prompts of the Holy Spirit and apply God's truth to daily living. That's Romans 8.13. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Next one is reading Romans chapter 6, 7 and 8. You always should read those together, never separate of one another, because they just flow so well. But it's about relating with Christ's death with Christ's burial and with Christ's resurrection. And then you can draw upon his power to do what is right. You just watch those things taking place in Romans 6, 7 and 8 are really good. Another important one is regard the reputation of Christ as more important than pleasing ourselves because of our love for the Lord. His reputation is paramount. Grace. John 14, 21 says... Um, Jesus spoke these words. He says, whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my father and I too will love them and show myself to them. What a great promise. Next one is Matthew 28, 20 and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. Surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. Recognize that we're not alone because the Lord will never forsake us. Two more, repulse evil and do not secretly desire um, what we condemn in others, Romans 2, 1, you therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else, for at whatever point you judge another, you're condemning yourself. That's enough to be said there. And the last one is, you have to resign. You just got to quit. And what I mean by that is resign your will before God and before man without any trace of pride or rebellion. Proverbs 8.13 says, To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. So we just got to resign ourselves before God and before man. And by doing that, we're fearing him most and putting ourselves in his hands. Hope this helps you a lot today. I really do. We're living in hopeless times, but hope is alive. Hope has a name. Hope's name is Jesus. Bless. Hey, thanks very much for watching Hope is Alive channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and click here or over here or just to my over there or just to this side to watch more videos. Come on.
You can do it.